Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I want to show you how I took wrapping paper and a few vintage postcards, and I made this decoupaged glass bowl where you could see the paper on the outside, so it looks pretty from the outside. But you can also still use the inside of this bowl, any bowl that you use. This was a clear glass bowl, and the inside is decorated too. But because it's all done from the outside, you are able to still use the bowl. So I'll show you how you can do this too. So this is the glass bowl that I use. This is glass. I got it off of Amazon and I will have a link down below to it and for as many products as I can find for you. So for today, instead of using napkins, I am using papers that I have printed from my copy machine. I recommend if you don't have a laser printer, you want to take your images to the nearest copy center and just make color copies. Those are all laser prints, which means they are waterproof. And if you try to do this with an inkjet printer, you will get running and bleeding. And even though there are ways to prevent that from happening. I've never really found one that gives you a nice clear image. So I'm using my decoupage scissors to cut. And these images, some of them are from postcards. Some of them I purchased 10 years ago. I don't know where these things are from. I purchased them and I can't put links to these, but this is to help you take whatever images you like. It could be something from a magazine. It could be something from a book you found at the library and make copies of it. As long as you're not selling it, it's okay to make copies. And I'm using my small decoupage scissors to cut these out. And this is the genuine old school decoupage where you had to cut all of the images out. And I always use larger scissors to cut out the image first and then I go back in with my smaller decoupage scissors to cut the rest of the pattern. The reasons that I'm using these papers as opposed to napkins is because we've had such a hard time finding that napkin decoupage glue. So you want to use the Deco Art Matte Decoupage Glue when you're working on glass. If you use glossy or satin glue, it will look like you have wet spots on your papers and that never goes away. And I'm just using, this is a big, I think it's a car washing sponge. And I find these to come in very handy when I need to smooth out some of my decoupage work. Now I cut all of my images out first and I'm taking the first image and I'm going to fit it to the center spot. Now I am working on the outside of the glass and I'm just going to add the decoupage glue to the image, place it on the bowl and smooth it down. This sponge is only slightly dampened with the distilled water. A lot of our tap water uh, is a bit acidic and it could turn your work yellow over the years, which is why I'm using the distilled water. Then I'm just taking a little bit, a tiny bit of a damp cloth and I'm going to wipe away the excess decoupage glue from around the image. And I just wanted to show you that you can apply the decoupage glue to the bowl and then apply your image. I just wet that a little bit and I'm blotting it because the paper is a little bit more firm than napkin, so this makes it easier to work with. And just tap it down lightly and then carefully take your rag and wipe away that excess decoupage glue. And the paper does take a bit longer to dry than napkins, so I'm actually going to put this outside in the sun. It's a very low humidity, warm day out today, so I'm going to let this dry for a couple of hours. Now I am working on a curved bowl, so I can see that I have a couple of wrinkles in here with the paper. That's hard to avoid when you're working on a curved surface, so I'm just going to file those down a little bit. You want to be careful because you just want to file away those wrinkles, but you don't want to file right down through to the glass. Now that the bowl is dry, I'm taking this mulberry paper, and you can see that it's got some gold flecks in there which I'm loving and I'm just going to tear this into some strips and I am going to decoupage that all around the bowl over those images but again on the outside and even though the mulberry paper is very thin it's fine to use the matte decoupage glue and to prevent you from getting any brush strokes it's a good idea to place the mulberry paper down on a dry surface and just paint the decoupage glue on the paper. You can see right here 
The paper is down on the dry glass and I just take the decoupage glue and it looks like I'm painting this on and it's really easy to work with this mulberry paper because it's nice and thin. I am making sure that these edges are very secure. As I always stress, you want to make sure you get a lot of decoupage glue on the very edges so your work doesn't pull up. And it's good to put it on some type of a surface if you can level it. So I'm going to leave this to dry. And this ended up drying a lot more quickly because it's so sheer. I'm going to now file away these edges and make sure you only file in one direction. Okay, so now we have these two layers already of decoupage done. Now this is pretty as it is. You may want to add a top coat. You could also use chalk paint and paint the whole thing, which would really make the inside pop. I am going to take wrapping paper and I'm going to cut this in strips and almost apply it like it's a puzzle. One piece has to go next to the other piece and it can get a little challenging when you're working on a bowl, but I'll show you how to do it here. So here's what I did. On this wrapping paper, and this wrapping paper is probably, I'll say it's easily 10 years old. I think it's actually going back closer to 20. So I'm taking strips of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting this on the outside of the bowl like this, but this will be facing out because this is what you're going to want people to see when they look at the outside of the bowl. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these strips. Then I'm going to lay them out side by side so that when I apply them, I know which one goes next to which one. These are a lot longer than I'm going to need, so I'll end up cutting them while I'm working. And again, you're going to want some distilled water. Uh, you want to make these papers easy to work with. So I always take the sponge, and the sponge is barely damp. I don't want to saturate the paper. And I'm going to lay it face out on the glass so you can see the image. And now I'm going to take the next sheet that I have in order and place it next to this and follow that same step. And I'm going to do this all around the bowl. So lightly dampen the paper with your sponge, apply the decoupage glue, line up your pattern, carefully apply the paper over the area where you just put the decoupage glue and you can take your sponge again and smooth the paper out. Add more decoupage glue over the area and continue those steps all around your bowl until the whole bowl is covered. Now this took a long time to dry. I'm talking about a couple of hours. And then I just went all around these edges and filed it so that I had a nice sharp clean edge. And after I sanded this lightly, I added four more coats of the decoupage glue, letting it dry in between each coat. When it was all dry again, I went around and sanded it lightly one more time. And now, because I don't want these images to be so vivid, you can leave it as it is if you want. But I wanted a little bit more of a dreamy effect, so I put the mulberry paper on the outside. Now this dries to a much more sheer finish where you can still see the images underneath. Right now it looks like they're blocking them pretty much. Once this is all dry, you can see the images underneath, but it gives it a much softer effect. So I am going to go around the whole surface once again, applying the mulberry paper. And while the mulberry paper is still wet, I'm going to file these edges away. And I am going to leave this to dry for a few hours. 
Have you guys ever used the triple thick in the can? It does still give it a beautiful high gloss. I do prefer to use the triple thick in the jar, but the can comes in very handy for situations like this. And it is always best to do two light coats, letting it dry between each coat, rather than try to force it all on at one time and possibly get drips. <laughs> So, which I'm famous for, and that's how I learned you have to do two light coats rather than one heavy coat. And do you see how sheer the paper is? So it just gives this outside a bit of a dreamy effect. Now there is one more thing that I would like to do. And I have this, I think it's called foil transfer. I'll put the link down below for it. It works very similar to gilding, but it seemed to have even more of a sparkly shine to it. I'm also kind of fascinated with the fact that the gold side is face up, but yet it transfers onto the surface that you're transferring it onto. So you'd want to take your favorite gilding glue and apply it to just that surface. I mean that exact area where you would like for the, the gold foil to stick down. And I'm burnishing it with a popsicle stick. And while I apply a little bit more of this gold foil, let me remind you that I have an ebook on Amazon called Successful Decoupage Every Time. Now, when I get questions from people, all of these answers are in that ebook, and you simply download that to your Kindle you and turn your iPhone, your iPad, your smart device into a Kindle for free. I'll put the links down below. My ebook is $4.99 unless you have Kindle Unlimited then I made sure that you could get the book for free. And then you can keep the book as a handy reference that covers a multitude of problems and there are links in it right back to videos so that you can see what I'm trying to describe as I'm writing. Now back to our video. Don't forget to subscribe and like guys. That means everything in keeping me alive in the algorithm. And I know you hear that all night and day. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I hope you like the project. I'm still reading all of your comments. Very hard to get back to everybody. Uh, Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put, I'm sorry, it could be every other week now when I put a new video out. And and here's the idea I had for this originally. I wanted to put one of those electric candles in here, which looks really pretty. I hate that these have like a green tinge in the video. They don't look like that uh, normally. It just looks like regular soft candlelight. And I'll show it to you in a couple of uh, other different lights, but that is our video for the week. Thanks a lot for tuning in. It's so nice that you guys leave me comments and you follow me on Facebook and I'm really grateful for all of that. So uh, I will see you either next week or the week after. I'm starting to do projects that take a little bit longer. So rather than put up a new project every single week, I'm taking my time and putting up what I think are more quality projects. But they do tend to take a little bit longer. And again, my friends, I will see you next week or the week after. Stay tuned to my Facebook page. You'll find out things that are happening and going on. All right. Thanks again, my friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.